So one of the most common questions that we get asked in the clinic is all about pillows and also sleeping position. So how does it contribute to headaches and migraines and also what is the best position to sleep in and also what is the best pillow or pillow position that you can have. That's what we're discussing today. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth, osteopath here from Melbourne Headache Solutions. So sleeping position and also pillows are super important when it comes time for neck health and also your headaches and migraines. They're so, 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 so important. So first and foremost, what is the best sleeping position that you can get into in regards to helping your headaches and migraines? Well, first and foremost, it's either your side or your back. It is definitely not your stomach. And for stomach sleepers out there, I know that you're hearing me say this and going, no, I really, 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 really need to sleep on my stomach because it is so comfortable. And yes, stomach sleepers, you do find it ridiculously comfortable, but it is horrible for all aspects of your body. And it's actually creating pain. It's not actually doing anything good for you. Now to demonstrate, when you sleep on your stomach, and yes, I know you know what stomach sleeping looks like, but when you sleep on your stomach, your head gets turned, you put a lot of pressure down, and you tend to hike up a leg as well. So this does a lot of damage, one, to your neck, your arms are raised, so it's doing negative things to your shoulders, and it does bad things to your lower back as well. But in terms of how this does negative things to your headaches and migraines, when your head is always turned when you're sleeping and you're putting pressure down, it just encourages dysfunctions to come into your neck, and you end up with a really stiff and sore neck, and as we know, the top three joints are the most implicated joints in headaches and migraines, it encourages these dysfunctions to first and foremost appear and also to stick around, therefore increasing your headaches and migraines. And because we want our headaches and migraines to decrease, not increase, then we don't want to be stomach sleeping, okay? We want our neck to be nice and straight when we're asleep. So therefore, we want to be either sleeping on our side or our back when we're sleeping. So when we're on our back, then we again want to be looking straight. So most people, when they lie on their back, then their head drops and it looks like this. Again, this is not good posture. We're going to place lots of strain down this side and compress this side. So we want to be making sure that as much as possible, our head is staying straight when we're asleep. Also, then this feeds into our pillows. So, so many people have bought many, 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 many pillows and endless amounts of pillows. Their wardrobes are filled with them. So what is a good pillow? What is the number one pillow? Well, we're all made different. We're all different shapes and sizes. Some people have longer necks, some people have thicker necks, some people have broader shoulders or narrower shoulders. So the answer is that there is not one singular pillow that fits all people, okay? It's more about your body and how it fits your body. So these are the things that you're looking for in terms of being a good pillow. So if you are a back sleeper, okay, then what you are looking for is when you're lying down, then you want to make sure that your chin is not sticking up towards the ceiling, okay? This indicates your pillow is too low. Alternatively, if your chin is tucked all the way to the chest, then this indicates that your pillow is too high. So... This pillow that I'm on at the moment for a back sleeper is actually pretty good, okay? Because you can see that my head is in a neutral alignment, okay? My head is not too high, it's not too low, my chin is not poking up, the muscles aren't strained here, and we're pretty good. And as I mentioned before, we want to make sure that my head isn't dropping to the side, so we want a nice straight alignment when I'm lying on my back. Now, when we're on our sides, for all the side sleepers, then what we're looking for is that once again, our head is nice and straight when we're sleeping. So if I'm lying on this side, we wanna be making sure that my head doesn't drop towards my shoulder or alternatively, my head is not pushed up away from the bed, okay? Because this is going to encourage our headaches and migraines to increase by giving us neck dysfunctions in through there. And you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel stiff, you're gonna feel sorry, and you're gonna know that there's something wrong in your neck as well, okay? So when you're lying on your side, then you want your shoulders stacked one on top of the other. So you don't want one shoulder rolling forwards or you don't want to be rolling backwards. Okay, and you want to be making sure that your head is nice and straight. Now for myself, this pillow is too low. You might be able to see that my head is ducking down. So I would want this pillow to be a little bit higher. I would want it about there, okay? If your pillow is too low, then you would feel that you would want to put a hand underneath the pillow or an arm underneath it, or you start to feel 
like you're rolling forwards, which is why a lot of people end up on their stomach in the first place, because they're trying to get support for their neck or they scrunch the pillow up in towards them, okay? So first and foremost, if you are a stomach sleeper, then you usually need a taller pillow. If your pillow is at the right height, then you actually find it quite hard to roll over onto your tummy because then you end up smothering yourself with a pillow, which is obviously not what you want to do, okay? So some tips and tricks, if you are a stomach sleeper and you're finding it hard to sleep on either your side or your back, usually you find it easier to transition onto your side is, as I said, buy a larger pillow to support yourself as a side sleeper and also hug a pillow into your side so it's actually physically impossible to roll over onto your tummy. You might get to a 45 degree angle but that's better than rolling all the way onto your tummy. Okay. Eventually you won't need this pillow tucked into your side um, because you will have adapted to sleep on your side. So as I said, we want to be either a side sleeper or a back sleeper. Definitely no tummy sleepers please to help improve um, your neck health and to decrease your headaches and migraines. But then also with pillows, as I said, that's what we're looking for on your back to make sure that your chin is not too far tucked down, nor poking up towards the ceiling. And then also side sleepers, we wanna make sure that the height of the pillow is correct, so not dipping down nor poking up here. But also when you're sleeping on your side, make sure that you're not crunching up and tucking down here. Your sleeping posture is just as important as your seated posture. So if you look like this all day at your computer, then you're going to increase your headaches and migraines, but it's the same when you're sleeping. You're there for seven to nine hours, so if you're tucking up and doing weird and wonderful things with your head, you're guaranteed to increase your headaches and migraines as well. So make sure that your posture, your sleeping ergonomics is good for you, okay? Now, the other thing that's really important in discomfort when it comes time for sleeping is that a lot of people think that their pillow is going to fix their neck pain or fix their headaches and migraines. Now that is not the case. Your pillow can certainly help to improve your headaches and migraines or help to um, stop them from getting worse because as we know it can cause dysfunctions or increase the dysfunctions in your neck. But if you already have dysfunctions in your neck that are creating headaches and migraines, a good pillow or good sleeping posture simply won't eliminate the headaches and migraines, which is what a lot of people seem to be looking for. And so this is something that we really need to be mindful of. So a good pillow simply won't fix the, ne the next dysfunctions or eliminate those headaches and migraines. It'll simply help to decrease it from getting worse, which is very important. So it's really important to make sure that you're getting those neck dysfunctions who has advanced skills in the area of treating the neck and headaches and migraines so that you are comfortable when you're sleeping so that you can get the results that you want for your headaches and migraines so that we can decrease the term results. So I hope you found it helpful in regards to sleeping posture, your pillows, your headaches and your migraines. If you've got any questions or queries at all, drop them below and I'll get back to you soon. Thanks guys and I'll catch you next time.